Initiating system one. System one loaded. Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Overlord here. And today, we're taking a look at the MA5 series of Assault Rifles from the Halo series and delving into the history, the damage this weapon deals, and compare it to real life weapons and see how it stands up. And all of this is based around the game's lore, and we'll be taking examples from the books and from comics so that we don't get any inconsistencies thanks to game mechanics. So, with that out of the way, let's get started. The MA5 series was first introduced into the UNSC's arsenal by Messiah Armory in 2437 because of its durability, how hard it could hit the enemy, and was easily mass produced compared to other weapons. This weapon has many models, five to be exact, which includes the MA37, which was used during the Battle of Reach, the MA5B, which had been used during the first encounter with the Halo Ring in Halo 1, the MA5C, which was used to battle the Covenant when they invaded Earth in Halo 3, and the MA5K, which was used during the Ghost of Onyx. Over the course of the 50 years that the MA5 series has stayed in service, models have come and gone, but the design of the weapon has stayed the majority of the time the same. On top of that, many different types of ammo have been made for the weapon, which include shredder rounds, which are somewhat like hollow points in the fact that they break apart when they enter the target's body, but they're a lot more deadly, and then you have the stun rounds, which are used on Spartan 2s during their training, and used regularly for firefight training with marines. So now that we've gotten all the history out of the way, let's get into the actual weapon statistics and the details. Now, for this I am going to be using the MA5C variant of this weapon, because it gives us all the stuff that we need to figure out how powerful the weapon actually is, and it carries all the same traits that the other rifles do. The MA5C is a fully automatic bullpup rifle that shoots 7.62 by 5.1 NATO rounds at 905 meters per second. It holds 32 rounds and is extremely accurate and easy to use, even by someone who hasn't held a gun before. Unfortunately, the wiki page doesn't give us the actual bullet weight itself, so what we have to do is we have to go in and do the loaded weight minus the unloaded weight, and then we have to divide that by 32 in order to figure out how much each bullet weighs. The weight of this weapon when loaded is 4.1 kilograms or 9.05 pounds, and then one of its empty is 3.8 kilograms or 8.378 pounds. Now, as again, we do have to subtract the loaded minus the unloaded, and that will give us 0.37 kilograms, and then we have to divide 0.37 by 32, and that gives us 0 0.01156 kilograms. So now we have all the stuff that we need, so what we need to do now is put this all into the formula 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. So we put the 0 0.01156 into mass, and then we put the 905 into the velocity. So we get 0 0.5 times 0 0.01156 times 905 squared. Now all we have to do is square the 905, which gives us 819,025. So we then have to multiply it by the 0 0.01156, which gives us 9,467.929. We then have to half that, and then that gives us 4,733, and that's the amount of joules that this has for kinetic energy, and you can convert that into kilojoules, which is 4.7 kilojoules. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the comparison bit of this episode, so you guys can see just how strong this weapon is compared to its real-life assault rifle counterparts. Now, the weapon that I actually chose to go up against the MA5 was the SCAR-17. Now they both shoot 7.62 by 51 rounds, but the SCAR-17 has a 650 rounds per minute fire rate, has a 800 meters per second muzzle velocity, and I believe it has a 25 round clip. The MA-5 on the other hand, which I actually forgot to mention one thing, has a 905 meters per second muzzle velocity, 950 rounds per minute fire rate, and a 32 round clip. Now I just kind of generalize these stats for both weapons, and the MA5 essentially trumps in every area. Now, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will be making more of these. They do take quite a while to actually edit and to do, and they're a bit of a pain in the ass, but if you guys really enjoy these, then please tell me, and I will be making more, and I will happily make more for you guys. This is Overlord signing out, and I will see you guys next time.